Hey, hey. Okay, so I said I was going to put it on Tuesday, but uh, I was uh, there was a lot of, again, same excuse, workies. I was doing a lot of stuff at work. <clears throat> so uh, I couldn't get a chance to actually just sit down and draw it, so I figured I can just do it this Wednesday. I had a couple hours before more stuff that I got to do. Uh, we're kind of pushing a lot of some a lot of stuff for this um, for this show, so um, we had to we had to get a lot of graphics done. Um, let's see. So hello Wednesdays. Yes, I should have started on like Monday or something like that. Maybe next time I'll try to push it for m Monday. I'll tell myself I'm gonna put it on Monday, and then instead it's gonna come out on Tuesday because I'm like one day off you know we'll see so uh, nothing much on this one I figured you know what because I'm, I'm going really slow on most of the stuff I try I, the way I work with these 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 ones I try to put as much detail as I can but kind of smooth and you know adding little things here and there so it takes time I kinda of sit there and try to do something and then I erase it so I'm um, here I'm just laying out the uh, the lights figuring out where I want it to be and um, even what I'm gonna do with the uh, a disc but um, yeah let's see and hopefully um, the next video I can try to I had some problems trying to do time-lapse so I'm gonna see if I can do a better job and uh, probably do a full hour or two hours and basically just one video will just get it all done just get rid of it, just finish it off. Maybe that'll do it. Uh, let's see. So here I am actually creating a pattern. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a strip. And then I'm going to double it. And I'm going to flatten that. So imagine a new layer. Say Control J. Make a new double that, duplicate that layer. I move it to the side. Like, like so. And then I go Control E. So that merges one layer down. So then it basically just duplicates one after the other, just duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. And then I just decided to... I was really just messing around, like I, I usually just do this. And then I flip the other side, so I put Control-T. And I do the transform. I hold Control as I go outside of the uh, the image. And you can kind of go from 45% to 90% to... Yeah. In terms of like making it the right angle, so I put it on that angle. I think I did a 45% on that or whatever. I place it in there. That looks really ugly, of course. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to blend it onto the, to the, to the lighting that I did, the shading that I did that actually kind of shows the contour of the, you know, of the 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 chestal area, the chestal section. So I go to layer, hide or reveal selection so that it hides everything else just because I wanted to set up that way but now I can make some modifications now on the on the uh, on the layer it has different features where you have a black and white and if you put the brush on it would put in a white map and then the black is pretty much on the eraser um, tool and you can actually use different kinds of brushes different patterns and what I'm doing here looks like I'm erasing it, but I'm not. It's actually just kind of, it's it's actually masking it. Sorry, I'm still a little sick, but uh, it's almost gone. Then I'm going to go to the layers and actually change up the layers a bit. Um, try and see how it will blend onto that chest area. You know, what looks good. Um, I had I saw some ones that look good, and, and I kind of wanted to give it a try, but I wanted to try it on a different part of him. So I might do that for the next video. But yeah, I just tried on different layers and you know, checked them out and saw which one was cool. And then I just used a, a, a very uh, faded brush and then I just started to kind of tweak it. You know, so like those shaded areas, I just kind of erased them off there because you're not really going to see them. And then I had it to kind of gradually fade it. You know, had it had it really work with the lighting. So that way, when you see it, kind of works a little bit. I mean, it's very faint, but uh, at least what's really good about it is that, let's say I did make a mistake. I didn't erase the pattern that I just made. I just 
simply hit it. But because the way we hit it is actually very, um, the way I hit it is, you know, smooth. It has like kind of a brush effect. It, it really looked like I just painted it with it. So um, that's a simple trick on brushes that, that you can do, the masking kind of tools that you can do for textures. You know, it's not it's not a bad thing to take a photograph of a rock texture and then put it on thing and then use masking. Now, if you notice that the black part is where you have the map of the masking, which is white is the most, uh, the most opaque, the most ones, the most part that you could see, and the black is the the thing that hides it all, the part that hides, that is hidden. Sorry, me no me don't know words, me don't know words. And uh, yeah, so I'm I'm pretty, I'm pretty much just gonna go over some of the stuff here. So I'm gonna read uh, a comment that I thought was pretty cool. Some of the I mean, all the comments are great. I read all of them because um, when you guys comment, I go straight to my phone and I just can't wait to read them. So awesome. So uh, slow Matt three two one says I'm thinking of doing comics, but I'm not sure. I like doing it and telling a story that that way. But I've always thought about the money part. I don't want to do it mainly for the money. I've just been worried about it not making enough. I do, I do do art stuff, just drawing, you know. So if it comes down to it, and I get better, I could do that. But I really like drawing and making comics, comics for myself now. I'm still young and I have a lot of time to think about it. If you have thoughts about this, please share. And here, I will share. Uh, well, I mean, it's kind of, I mean, to be, for me to reiterate, like, I think what I said last week was, um, so I'm distracted with my drawing. What did I say? Well, I mean, for a lot of us, I mean, you know, we go to school, we'll go to school and on the side, we'll just keep drawing. You know, um, comic books is not exactly like, uh, a job that you can kind of take unless you're trying to get a job in Marvel you know unfortunately you have to take another job somewhere that you you know I mean you might not like um, everyone's lives are different you know sometimes you know I used to work at Electro uh, EB games I don't know if I mean that's like the equivalent of GameStop I think uh, yeah and you know for uh, for me it was um, it was pretty difficult trying to. I remember one time, uh, my boss had to leave for something. I think he left early or whatever, and he want, wanted to make sure that I wasn't drawing my comic book. And I swear to God, I had this pad, this clipboard, and I had uh, my comic book there. And I would pull it out when he was gone, and I pull out my clipboard and I start drawing, and I could see his head peek over the window, and he was trying to see if I was being <laughs> sneaky. But to me, the problem was no one was around. Literally, there was no one at the store. So I was just, you know, and everything was up to date. So I figured I can draw. You know, I would try to find every way I can to draw. It was it was just I needed to do it, you know. So for me, I would just try to get better just for getting just to get better. And then if it came it came time to, you know, to put out a to put out the comic book and go to the conventions, I do that, you know. But what I'm saying, what what I like to say is that you know you do it for the love of it, do it because you want to do it, not not because you want to make money. Um, I know most of you guys don't you you know want to do it that way because the way comic books are you know are done, you know you re you realize quickly you're not gonna get rich off it, you know like just if you're thinking about money and and getting rich. You know that is not the first thing you do is like, I want to get I want to get rich I'm gonna make because it's never that way you know making comic books is about loving comic books and wanting to tell your story through comic books because you know if you really want to make some money I mean learn how to make movies you know and even that's stupid hard you know it's crazy it's crazy but uh, can you tell I'm not sick anymore I'm sort of sick I'm just getting out my cough. <clears throat> most of my most of my illness is gone my 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 cold is gone but um yeah you know i i knew some people who um i mean including myself i was 
I did this too. I did a lot of freelance. I did a lot of graphic designs. I did, you know, making logos, business cards, websites for people and stuff. And that stuff paid my bills. And then I would just, you know, I can schedule the time that I actually wanted to do my comic. You know, we did illustrations, and then when we had the mo- when we had time and the money, we would go to conventions and sell our work and stuff. It's just your typical kind of grinding out. You know, using your abilities. You know how you see colors, how you see shapes, and putting it into good use. You know, whether graphic designs or you doing covers for people. You know, it's all about talking to anybody that any uh, talking to basically anybody that you might feel might be interested, and then you. You know that person might not even give you that opportunity. Somebody else might randomly go, "Oh, hey, you, I, I you know." And one time, um, there was a, a, you know, me and my guys were just forming this other company. It's no longer around, but um, we were at a coffee, sh- oh, coffee shop, um, just talking, talking about what we wanted to do, and talking about this, you know, this this new company, what we're gonna do with it and stuff. And this other person from behind us tapped my shoulder and was like. Oh, you guys got some really good stuff, and was really interested, and you know looked over looked over our stuff. He's like, "Can we?" You know, they're like, you know, of course they're like, "Can we take a look at it?" This and that, and then suddenly, you know, it turns out he was a, a creative director or, of some sort in this um, advertising company who wanted to do some new stuff and needed some storyboarding and all that kinds of stuff. And we're like, "Sure, we'll do it," you know. And we did we did some work with them. I mean, unfortunately, it didn't really end very well, but you know you'll learn to kind of go through all that kind of stuff you'll find a bunch of bad eggs and then you know they'll be like that nice one that'll keep uh keep your money keep your wallet thick (laughs) not thick enough unfortunately but it's fairly thick as opposed to being empty but you know that happens but i you know i say i say you will make money out of it but you can't, you won't if you think about it, you know, because the first thing you're supposed to think about is how awesome your comic book is going to be, how much you love it, and how how awesome the story is going to be, and then you execute it, and you just get into it, you know, if it, if it means getting better, better drawing, then get better at it, you know, and then at the end of the day, you know, that's what it's about, and then the money will come along, the money will come along when it when it needs to be, when it needs to, you know. When you're, when you're pretty much done with it all, and you're, and you're happy. I'm hoping that this video will get through, because I think I'm getting up to 15 minutes, at length. So, hopefully, this comes through. I hope that answers your question. And I know I only answered one person's question, but uh, not 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 that many people. Not that many people actually ask me any question. It was only um, slow mat three two one. Um, I want to say hi to Square Wave nine, Exablitz. What up, buddy? I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Ball Wizard six. Thank you so much for your comments. Um, so I'm, I'm rereading slow mats um, because I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. But I say worry about getting better. It's all about getting better. And if you get better, someone will recognize it and someone will pay you for your for your skills. And that's that's really all we can look forward to. Thank you so much for watching and listening to these videos. Um I'm I'm going to try to finish it next time. But until then, I will see you. Keep drawing, people. Peace out.